G'day guys, Lootop Secret here, and today I want to do a top 5 video for the top 5 games at E3. Now the way this is going to work out is that the top 5 um, that has nothing to do with how the game was presented at E3, it's just the games that I am most excited for that were shown at E3. So how they were presented has nothing to do with this list. So top 5 has to go to uh, Fallout 4, I almost said 5. Um, Fallout 4 is on uh, number 5 because uh, I have not played any of the Fallout games at all. I haven't even seen any in-game footage of any of them. But um, that doesn't mean I can't be excited for the fourth one. Um, I w am interested in the series. I will actually like to play them um, now that Xbox One is compatible with 360. Uh, hopefully uh, Fallout will be on the list so then we can start playing those Fallout games. So then I can, you know... Uh, be more involved in it and understand what's going on. So um, that's at that's at number five because it looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, since I haven't played any of them, I can't really say um, much about it, but I am still excited about it. And uh, yeah, it's number five. Let's go, pal. Number four has to go to Unravel, and you guys may disagree with this one, but um, you guys have to understand that I would like to be a game developer sometime in the future, and seeing the creator of this game on the stage pretty much telling everyone that he poured his entire heart and soul into this one game is pretty fascinating and a great thing to hear because games nowadays pretty much everyone is wanting to make their own and uh, they have cool little stories about how they and Scott inspired to make the game and this one was involved in the producer, the maker of the game, going on a camping trip with his family and uh, he, nothing really worked out for him, didn't go his way so he made this cool little character made out of string but I reckon that looks pretty cool and I'll definitely be picking that one up and hopefully doing some videos on it. Three, I'm gonna give it to Recore, which is a pretty interesting looking game. Um, I don't think this has ever been number four little robots that you can take out the life spark sort of thing out of it and put it into another robot. That is a pretty interesting idea. I don't think it's ever been done at all. Um, it's something they did in Transformers, that's all I know. But um, that is, this game looks pretty cool. Um, I know we just saw the trailer, but. Uh, that doesn't mean it can't be cool. Uh, I really am interested to see how awesome this game will be. I know it's going to be awesome. Um, and definitely a game I, I will be picking up. I think it's an Xbox One exclusive. It might be a timed exclusive. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a timed exclusive. And um, just the idea of this game is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so that's why it's number three. And number two, I have to give it to Star Wars Battlefront because I'm a big fan of Star Wars and we haven't seen a good Star Wars game in a couple of years now, actually. Um, good to see that they've finally given up on those dancing Star Wars games and they've finally gone back to the one that we all know and love, the Battlefront series. And I have not played any of them, but I really regret not picking any of them up. But, you know, I am still excited for this one. Uh, I always wanted a Star Wars game that's interesting to me and is what Battle, Battlefront 4 is giving us. Um, and uh, it looks really cool. Like, Luke Skywalker's in it, Darth Vader's in it. And uh, I'm sorry, I just like the, those movies. Now, the E3 demo they gave us the, in Hoth, I think it is. I don't know what it's called, the Snow Place. They finally gave us some in-game footage, which looks amazing, and uh, I will definitely be picking this one up, and that is why this game is at number two. And 
And finally, for the obvious number one, has got to go to Halo 5 Guardians. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm a huge Halo fan. It's my favourite video game series of all time. And uh, this looks like the Halo game which everyone is going to... Most fanboys are going to hate on. But I am really going to enjoy this, hopefully. There's no doubt about that. The new multiplayer looks amazing. The campaign in-game footage we got looks, oh god, amazing. It looks like uh, nothing ever seen before. It reminds me a bit like Destiny, actually, but, you know, that's okay. But, um, playing as Locke and their story to try, Locke's story to try and find a Master Chief for whatever reason, looks pretty cool, and the fact that we get to switch perspectives looks pretty cool. And the war zone, I don't know if I spoke about that. The war zone looks awesome. And uh, yeah, I already pre ordered the game and got the limited edition one. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And I really hope this one's better than Halo 4. It better be. And uh, yeah, so that's my top five list. So there you go guys, that is my top 5 games of E3, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, leave a comment in the comment section of your top 5 games or 10, top 10 if you want to go that far and uh, I will definitely reply to your comment if there's something I need to say or if you ask me a question about why I didn't pick this specific game to be number 1 or something but as you know we're all human beings, we all like different things, I may like Halo you guys might like Call of Duty, you know, we're just humans. So, uh, yeah. And also, guys, in the comments, also let me know who you think won E3, Xbox or PS4. Not that that doesn't really matter, I just, I'm just i just interested. I personally think Xbox won E3, but that's just me. And, uh, yeah. Alright, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.